Dear son, before you enter the order of the priesthood, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Do you resolve, with the help of the Holy Spirit, to discharge without fail the office of priesthood in the presbyteral ranks as a worthy fellow worker with the order of bishops in caring for the Lord's flock? I do. Do you resolve to exercise the ministry of the word worthily and wisely, preaching the gospel and teaching the Catholic faith? I do. Do you resolve to celebrate faithfully and reverently in accord with the Church's tradition, the mysteries of Christ, especially the sacrifice of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation, for the glory of God and the sanctification of the Christian people? I do. Do you resolve to implore with us God's mercy upon the people entrusted to your care by observing the command to pray without ceasing? I do. Do you resolve to be united more closely every day to Christ the High Priest, who offered himself for us to the Father as a pure sacrifice, and with him to consecrate yourself to God for the salvation of all? I do with the help of God. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to completion. Amen. My dear people, let us pray that God, the all-powerful Father, will pour out abundantly the gifts of heaven on this, his servant, whom he has chosen for the office of priest. Lord, have mercy. the 
Lord, Savior. that this man, whom in the sight of your mercy we offer to be consecrated, may be surrounded by your riches and unfailing gifts, through Christ our Lord.
Draw near, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, author of human dignity. It is you who apportion all graces. Through you, everything progresses. Through you, all things are made to stand firm. To form a priestly people, you appoint ministers of Christ your Son by the power of the Holy Spirit, arranging them in different orders. Already in the early covenant, offices arose established through mystical rites. When you set Moses and Aaron over your people to govern and sanctify them, you chose men next in rank and dignity to accompany them and assist them in their task. So too in the desert, you have planted the spirit of Moses in the hearts of seventy wise men and with their help he ruled your people with greater ease. So also upon the sons of Aaron you poured an abundant share of your father's plenty, that the number of priests prescribed by the law might be sufficient for the sacrifices of the tabernacle, which were a shadow of the good things to come. But in these last days, Holy Father, you sent your Son into the world Jesus, who is Apostle and High Priest of our Confession. Through your Holy Spirit, he offered himself to you as a spotless victim, and he made his Apostles, consecrated in the truth, sharers in his mission. You provided them also with companions to proclaim and carry out the work of salvation throughout the whole world. And now we beseech you, Lord, in our weakness, to grant us this helper that we need to exercise the priesthood that comes from the Apostles. Grant, we pray, Almighty Father, that this, to this your servant, the dignity of the priesthood, renew deep within him the spirit of holiness. May he henceforth possess this office which comes from you, O God, and is next in rank to the office of bishop. And by the example of his manner of life, may he instill right conduct. May he be a worthy co-worker with our order, so that by his preaching and through the grace of the Holy Spirit, the words of the gospel may bear fruit in human hearts and reach even to the ends of the earth. Together with us, May he be a faithful steward of your mysteries, so that your people may be renewed in the waters of rebirth and nourished from your altar, so that sinners may be reconciled and the sick raised up. May he be joined with us, Lord, in imploring your mercy for the people entrusted to his care and for all the world. And so may the full number of the nations gathered together in Christ, be transformed into your one people, and made perfect in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people 
and offer sacrifice to God. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do, imitate what you celebrate, and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross.
indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love, he is faithful from age to age. with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, sing Him for joy.